Daniel, you, you know the value of a strong government or uh, the pitfalls of a weak one. I believe Pedro Sanchez um, in your home country is going to meet with King Felipe today to talk about um, the, you know, the, the, the difficulties he's having form it, forming a government at all. Um, are you concerned about uh, Spain post-Brexit? Is the economy going to take some hits post-Brexit? And how do you feel about the strength of, of the nation? Yeah. Well, um, it's very concerning to see, for example, that uh, for 2020, the Spanish government will have to implement uh, a cut of at least 10 billion euro. And that is nowhere to be found in these negotiations to form a coalition or to reach an agreement for the, uh, the approval of a new government. So that is quite a concern. I think that another cause of concern is that while we are seeing data in the rest of the eurozone to bottom down uh, the the data in in spain is weakening so i think that the, the the biggest risk for the spanish economy is that the government falls into the complacency of believing that the economy is going to continue to grow above the average of the eurozone which means nothing to me and the fact that uh, it's uh, ignoring the risks at the budget uh, at the budget it's ignoring the risk in the employment sector the November figures were very, very poor, and also ignoring the weakness in uh, corporate profits, which have been very, very weak. What becomes of the Catalan, Catalan story, uh, Daniel? I mean, uh, with Sanchez, do they have more support to pull Spain apart, or is it possible that Madrid is going to be able to, to hold the country together? Obviously, the Catalan separatists know that uh, the, the government uh, that will be formed is going to be very weak and that is going to need them uh, in in almost everything and as such they will try to push their agenda to the, whatever limit is possible i don't think that uh, that is going to be very easy in spain institutions are very strong and they're independent and it's not something that even falls under what the uh, uh, what a weak government would like to do just to stay in power so i think it's it's going to be very very challenging i would say not just for in terms of how the government is going to be formed and its level of strength, but also in terms of approving a budget. That is going to be a big, big challenge. All right, Daniel, thanks so much. Great to get some time with you. Daniel Akai is chief economist at Tresis. He's going to be continuing the conversation with Anna and myself on Bloomberg Radio at 9 a.m. UK time. So definitely tune in for more from Daniel Akai.